I find that both conceptually and in terms of style, that there are lots of interesting parallels between jazz improvisation and how theoretical physicists, which is what I do for a living, how we actually come up with new ideas, come up with new physics. The one connection is the mysterious way that quantum particles actually move. A quantum particle actually, according to the rules of quantum mechanics, as it moves from point A to point B, will actually traverse all possible paths. When you think about this particle as an improvisation, as the way a jazz soloist might actually improvise from a starting note to a finishing note, the jazz musician, a very skilled one, will consider many possible notes that could be compatible with the melodic line, similar to how a quantum particle will consider all these possible paths from, from point A to point B. There are times when I'm playing and I'm improvising that I might actually, as a device, as an improvisational device, I might think about a physics idea. Because what that will do is it will get me, it will get me from thinking too intellectually about what notes I'm playing. Because the name of the game, as Charlie Parker says, is to practice, but when, it's, when you're up there playing, throw it all away. 